Awesome, I'm really glad you clicked on this video because you are in for a treat. Not only will I show you how to get set up with installing WordPress on HostGator in less than 10 minutes, I'm also gonna give you access to my exact three-step WTC system, which stands for Website, Traffic, and Customers, that we currently sell for $4.97 for lifetime access. Now this will teach you in detail how to properly create a website or blog that's primed to get you a ton of traffic and actual paying customers. Now the reason that we're doing this is because more than 50% of people who get started with their website abandon it within 12 months. And that's because they have no idea how to make money from it. So we've partnered with HostGator to help fix that problem. And if you keep watching, I'll show you how. My name is James Stafford and my team and I have helped over 8 million entrepreneurs, small business owners, nonprofits, and personal brands properly build their websites and blogs and clarify their message with our how-to videos here on YouTube. And if we can help them, we can certainly help you get started too. Now as mentioned, we partnered with HostGator to provide this offer and hosting for all our YouTube subscribers and Websites Made Easy members to ensure their website or blog is set up for success. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you the way that we recommend at Websites Made Easy to get started with HostGator and install WordPress when you're just starting out. So of course, make sure you're over at HostGator.com, then go ahead and click on Get Started. Now here's where we're gonna choose your hosting plan. And when first getting started, I would recommend the Hatchling plan if you only want one domain. Now if you want multiple domains, I would go with the baby plan. That's the difference between the two. You don't need the business plan now. And the good news is you can always change plans to suit your needs. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the Hatchling plan and then click on Buy Now. Now this is where you will select your domain name. Now if you already have a domain name, you would select this and then just type it in here. And I'm gonna assume for this tutorial that you are registering a new domain name. So right here, go ahead and type in your domain name. Now, if you haven't thought this through, I would recommend using your first and last name to brand yourself or your business name and try to stay away from hyphens if possible. So I've gone ahead and entered my name and the .com is available and you can choose whatever you'd like, .com, .net, .org, whatever you're comfortable with. These days, it really doesn't matter so much. Then you wanna head down. We'll go to step two, which is choose a hosting plan. Now we selected the Hatchling plan. You wanna enter a username here. Now for the billing cycle, you wanna to toggle this and you have several options here. I would select the full year as this is gonna make it slightly cheaper as well as unlock a free domain as well. And I'm gonna give you a coupon code that's gonna save you 60%. So you have that as well. And you wanna enter in a security pin. And that's it for step two. Then step three, pretty straightforward, you wanna enter in your billing information and your credit card information. You can also pay with PayPal. So whatever you're comfortable with here. Then we'll head down to step four, which is additional services. And by default, there is some services here that are selected that you don't need. So, and again, you can always choose to get these later on if you'd like, depending on your needs. For now, really don't need these, okay? And then right here, you're gonna enter in host hero. And then once you validate it, you'll see it will bring the cost even down Further, so this is gonna save you 60% off your entire hosting, depending on the hosting uh, package you chose. So if we head back up, you'll see, pretty awesome, right? So you save the most there. And it's gonna also unlock the three-step WTC system if you'd like to learn how to properly set up your website or blog to get traffic and customers so you can start generating money with your new website or blog. So ultimately, whatever you're comfortable with, and to be transparent, we have partnered with HostGator to bring you this offer, and we do get a commission for everybody that does sign up. And this is really a win-win because you get a great price and a free course if you'd like, and we get a commission. Okay, awesome, we are set to jet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the rest of this information and process this order so you can see the next steps. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled everything out and got everything validated. Cost has gone down. And then all you wanna do is go ahead and select here. And then when you're ready, check out now. Awesome, and congratulations. You are the proud owner of your new website or blog. 
And now we're gonna look for a couple of emails from HostGator. And these are really important. This is how we're gonna install WordPress within HostGator, okay? So I'm gonna to head to my email and show you what you should look for. Okay, so I'm in my email and I wanna draw your attention to several emails that you need to pay attention to when you first sign up with HostGator. Okay, so the first one right here will start with the launch pad. So you wanna click this and what this is, is basically HostGator wants to verify your email address just for security purposes. So you wanna click this link and verify. And this is gonna ensure that your site doesn't get paused or anything like that because they wanna make sure you are who you say you are. Okay, so make sure you do that. So we're done with this. And these are just best practices, what I've experienced over the years. So this way there's no hangups when you're you know, trying to get your site live online or anything going forward, okay? So next is your, this one right here. So it says, thank you for choosing HostGator. Now what we're gonna do is log into the portal area right here. So go ahead and click this right here. And also be sure to grab your password. So once you're squared away with that, go ahead and log in. Now what we wanna do is ensure your new domain is pointing to the right name servers. So sometimes it is and sometimes it's not. So it's always good to make sure this is set up properly so your website will display online. You don't have to worry about the you know technical jargon of all this. This just needs to be set up properly, okay? So go to domains and here's the domain right here. Then go ahead and click on more and then head over here where it says name servers, okay? And then all you have to do is select this, automatically point my domain to my hosting account and then click save name servers and that's it. Now really pay attention to this, this is really important. If you purchased your domain from somewhere else like GoDaddy, Namecheap, any other place, you need to contact them and tell them that they need to update the name servers and point them to HostGator. So we'll head back to our email and then you want to access your HostGator.com, your account info, and you want to give them these name servers. So you contact whoever you purchased the domain from, tell them that you want to update the name servers to these, and that's it. So we are done here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and log out. I'll close this out. I'll head back to the email. We'll go to the next step. So we'll head back here, and now we want to access where it says HostGator, your account info. And this is where we're gonna install WordPress. So you wanna click this, copy your password, then remember your username, and then go ahead and click this right here, the control panel link. And this is your cPanel. Now there's a lot going on here. Don't let it concern you. We're just going to one thing in here. So I'll close this out, and we're gonna head down here to software and services. And then you wanna click on quick install. And this is where we're gonna install WordPress. Then click on WordPress right here. Select your domain name. Click next. Okay, awesome, you are just about done. I've gone ahead and filled in this information. So for your blog title, put in your blog title, your business name or your name. Admin user, select, I always select admin or my first name. Uh, for your first name, of course, first name, last name, that's self-explanatory and your admin email. Make sure this is a good email address. If you ever have to update your password with your WordPress site, this is the email it will go to. So make sure that's good. And that's it. And then go ahead and click on Terms of Service Agreement and get ready to have your website live online. So go ahead and click on Install. And that is it. Pretty awesome, right? In under 10 minutes. Okay, we are set to jet this green check mark means we are good to go and we're going to take a peek so all i want you to do is just right under installation details right click your domain and open it up in a new tab don't close this page out because we want to grab our username and password and you will get access to all these details in your email as well so just to make it easy we will log in here and you might get an error message saying that this page isn't available yet and you might have to wait until everything with your new website or blog is set up. And this can take no time at all or several hours. And this is normal. It just, it takes a while for your new domain and website to settle and it can take some time to become live online. So don't worry about this. And I've actually waited a little bit and mine is now live right now. 
but you might see an error page. Don't freak out if that happens to you. Also, if you've skipped one of the steps that we went through, this could be an issue as well. So go ahead and click on admin login, and this is where you'll log into the back end of your WordPress website. And now I'm just gonna grab my login credentials, paste that in, and this is your WordPress dashboard. Awesome, so congratulations, you now have a WordPress website or blog live online, you should be pumped. Now remember earlier when I said without a vision for your website or blog, it can become a challenge to run because you need a big why or a big purpose to help drive you forward. You don't want your website or blog to become a virtual paperweight, which is all style and no substance. So to remedy this, we've created the WTC System Special Offer, which stands for Website, Traffic, and Customers. Now, this is for people that are serious about building a website or blog. Now, this benefits you as it allows for you to have a vision for your website or blog so you can create a bigger picture of what you can accomplish. Now, the goal is to give you a roadmap so you can get the most out of your new website or blog, and you're not left to just figure it out on your own. Whether you want to create an impact, sell your stuff, or just have a cool optimized site that has a good user experience, you're covered with my WTC system. Now to take advantage of this, all you need to do is use that special coupon code HOSTHERO when signing up for hosting with HostGator. That's it. Now once you've signed up, you'll get the confirmation email from HostGator, the one with the subject line HostGator.com, your account info. All you need to do is just forward it to me at james at websitesmadeeasy.tv and let me know that you want access to the system. And my team and I will be in touch with you to grant you free access to the WTC system. Also be sure to check out the notes below for any updates or changes. Now just to be clear, we're only offering this for a limited time and we only want people who are serious in taking part in this. So if you're ready to get started, then jump on it now. Now if this doesn't interest you, that's completely cool. I've also included a couple links to some video tutorials so you can get up and going with your new website or blog and I'll leave those in the notes below. And maybe I'll see you on the other side, so thanks for watching.